Hello everyone, my name is Gisen. Welcome to my channel! Halloween is just around the corner. If you're following me since the beginning, you know that's the third year now that I'm going to make my own Halloween costume. And you know also that I like to make the most of it so I can use it for another purpose. This year, I decided to go for a Venetian costume because I had a Venetian themed party last weekend and I can use the same costume for Halloween. Yes, by the time you will watch this video, I already went to this party, but anyway. For the Venetian look, I will sew a clock. I was going to make my own pattern, but I didn't have time as I had to sew two clocks, one for myself and one for hubby. So, after some research, I found this easy pattern from Alejandra Mesa. I definitely recommend you this pattern if you're looking for a quick and easy clock pattern. The pattern is really long, so I don't have a choice, I have to work on the floor. You can clearly see on my face how excited I am. Here, I folded my fabric in half, right sides together, and I'm making sure that my fabric is flat. I don't have enough fabric length to cut twice the front and back panels on the fold. So, what I'm going to do is to cut the back panels on the fold and for the front panels, I will add one centimeter seam allowance on one side. And so, after all, it will be the same. Let's pin the pattern pieces onto the fabric. It's gonna take time, so I'll be right back in a minute. After, I cut the back panel, the bottom, and one side of the front panel. As I said earlier, here I'm adding 1cm seam allowance to sew these two pieces together to have the full width of the front panel. Then I can cut. After that, I cut the notches. Then I start again the same process and I cut one more front and back panels. With the fabric left, I cut the hood and as you can see here, I'm lucky because I have just the round amount of fabric. Now I will repeat the same process for the lining. I pin the front panels, right sides together, and sew one centimeter from the edge. You know, it's the pattern piece that was supposed to be cut on the fold, but I had to add seam allowances to have the same width. So this is the one. I repeat the same thing on the second pair of the front panels and the lining. Once that's done, I press the seams open. After that, I pin both back panels right sides together and sew all the way down. I do the same thing with the lining pieces. As always, I press the seams open. Then I pin the hood pieces right sides together and sew here. Once again, I repeat the same thing with the lining pieces. After, I press the seams open. Now, I place one front panel on each side of the back panels, right sides together, and I pin all the way down.
Then I sew and repeat this with the lining pieces as well. As always, I press the seams open. Now that all the panels are assembled, I can check if the length of the cloth is okay. But as you can see, it's quite long, so I will cut off 15 centimeters from the bottom edge. I also do the same thing with the lining as I will sew them together later. Now it's time to assemble the hood to the cloak. I align the center back seam with the hood seam and pin. Then I sew all along and I repeat the same process for the lining. After that, I press the seams open. To be able to attach the clock, I prepared strips. The measurement is approximately 50 by 5 cm. I fold them right sides together and sew 5 mm from the edge along the longer side and one of the short edges. This is how it should look like. I cut the corners and with my turning set, I turn the strips the right way around. After that, I press the strips so they are nice and flat. I measure four centimeters from the seam and pin the strips on each side. I make sure the strips are in the middle. Then I place the lining right sides together with the main fabric and pin all around by matching the seams. Here in the bottom, I leave an opening so I can turn it the right way around. Now I can sew all around. Once that's done, I cut the corners and turn the cloak the right way around. This is how it looks so far. After, I press the edges. Here, I pin the opening so I can top stitch all around the cloak. To finish the cloak, I add some decorative trim on the center front. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below as always. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then support my channel by subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and sharing it with your friends and family. See you next week. Bye bye.